wild. It's Halloween, and I'll prank you in a second. So, hello, vampires, witches, adults, parents, kids, grandma, grandpa, where are you? Hello everyone! My name is Jasmine the Witch. I have my assistant here. What's your name? Before I kill you. No, your name is Ishwar the Witch. Ma'am! The witch the wizard. So, today we'll be making the most spookiest, delicious gummy chocolate whipped cream uh cake. Yes, we'll be making a delicious Halloween cake. It will have snakes, ghosts, and what else? Uh, and gummy bones. Yes, we'll have gummy bones and spooky fingers. So, first of all, let's get to the ingredients. The ingredients we'll be needing will be some black melted chocolate in a ziploc bag some almonds that are that have been soaked and are split in half and are white we'll be needing whipped cream any color of your choice make sure it is properly whipped and we'll be needing orange melted chocolate green melted chocolate m ms gummy bones a vanilla cake and gummy snakes and of course we'll be needing a cake that's chocolate because it's my favorite if you want to exchange you can have a vanilla cake of a big shape and then a chocolate cake of a small shape and the utensils knife of course because I have it right here and a scissor a pair of scissors and a board and a chalk board okay so let's get started so move your Take here and then come along with your vanilla cake or chocolate. Then since my cake is pretty firm, you can easily get it into a type of dough, type of texture. And if your cake is not that firm, what you can do is that you can crumble up your cake and add frosting in it to thicken it up and become firm. Okay, so with your dough, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna make your Halloween characters. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna have the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lanterns, fingers, and ghosts. So I'm gonna start off by making my pumpkin. Let's get a bit of dough and roll it into a ball. And you just place it there. Then do that to the rest of your cake, making different Halloween characters, and I'll be back after that. Spooky characters. Jack-o'-lantern, lanterns, pumpkin thingies, fingers, and one ghost. Now, I forgot to mention that I also have these tools here. I have a paintbrush, two paintbrushes, and this kind of roundy, bally mold. And what we're gonna do with this tool, round thingy, just make a round shape in on the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern. So you don't have to make it really big, but you just want a little circle in it like this. There. And now, come along with your melted chocolate. You're gonna just take your little paintbrush and paint your Halloween character. And after I finish painting all of them, I'll be back. Here is the spooky, crumbly, some type of weird figures. I have snipped off a tip of my black candies, my black melted chocolate. And now, before the chocolate sets on your fingers, you wanna take one of the halves of the almonds 
pop it in. You see what I mean by fingers? And then take like, you know, the smallest part of your tool and just go and make three lines. And there is one finger, a spooky finger, a green spooky finger. And then my next one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Halloween is like my favorite festival. Well, my favorite, how do I say? Christian festival maybe? Yeah. But Diwali is my favorite Indian festival because of the fireworks and all that yumminess and best parts, friends, families, gifts, everything. Halloween is my favorite because it's spooky. You get to do parties and have a lot of fun. Yeah. My land, my jack o' lantern. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a face. Just a nice, pretty face. Like that. That's the pretty face I made. And I'm gonna do it on my last one. Perfect. And then what you can do is you can just put a few dots and bobs on your, you know, kind of decorate them in a spooky way. And then make sure you still have the leftover chocolate because you're still going to use it. Use it. All right, we've got those done. Now, here is it. Come along with your cake and start piping these little frosts. You want to completely cover it with pink or whatever color you want your whipped cream to be with. And the wizard has gotten tired, I don't know why. And you can decorate it in any way you want. Just doing swirls and stars. So if you want, you can use frosting, but I think whipped cream is more easy because frosting you have to make it and it takes time for making it. And whipped cream you can just add condensed milk, food coloring, and then you have it. And you just have to whip it up and you only need that cream to whip it up. Don't worry if your whipped cream is really messy because we're overall going to decorate it with other gummies, M&Ms and things. And of course our Halloween characters. There. Just a few. There. And that's done. Okay. Now come with your characters and just pop them on anywhere. Just popping on a few lanterns, fingers, of course, and wooden sticks. If you want, you can just break one up and then put it next to, like a cut finger. And then with your leftovers, just pop them on the side of the cake. And the ghost has broken up. You can just take a bit of your chocolate and glue it back on. Kind of like that. Or just give it a little press. These last fingers. I think my cake wasn't firm enough, that's why it has broken up into horrible pieces. Like those. And now, you will decorate your cake however you want. Like I have these gummy snakes. Just gonna pop them around. You know, everyone loves gummy, so the gummy on a cake will just give it an extra bonus part. This red gummy comes in there. You can just pop things wherever you want. And then we need to put a few bones, of course. Ugh. There. And then a few other thingies. Now, with your M&Ms, go crazy. I mean crazy. Like pop one, a green one, on top of your 
jack-o'-lanterns to make it kind of like a leaf. I went for a blood break. Yeah, a blood break. So, now we have finished making our okay looking Witchville spooky Halloween cake. Yes, it has bones, it has snakes, it has jack-o'-lanterns, it has fingers, it has M&Ms, it has everything delicious sweetness. It even has chocolate cake. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Halloween video. And this is going to go in my belly with my friends on my Halloween party. So, please like, comment and subscribe and try this witch build. Oh,